In this video we'll be looking at a really quick and basic way to install HashiCorp's Otto and this will include how to install the two core dependencies which are VirtualBox and Vagrant. Thanks for watching. So first things first we need to make sure we've got the two core dependencies um, already installed to run Otto. And these are VirtualBox and Vagrant. <clears throat> So, at the moment we need to install them manually, but in the future the um, Otto website has mentioned that it will be done automatically so you can install all the dependencies as one uh, package. So, if you haven't got a VirtualBox installed, it's a very, very simple installation. You need to get yourself over to virtualbox.org and you'll see a large blue download VirtualBox button with the latest version on the home page. You just need to click on that. You'll then be um, asked to select the binary, so the operating system. Now we're running, um, I'm running Ubuntu, sorry, and that falls under the Linux hosts. And the VirtualBox website has very cleverly um, deciphered my user agent that the browser sent and figured I'm running Ubuntu. So it's selected the Linux hosts for me. So I can't click on those ones, but I can click on the Linux one. So we need to click through to that, and then you'll select the, the system you're running. So I'm actually running Ubuntu 14.0 Trusty Tar, and I'm running the 64-bit CPU architecture. Now, if you're not sure what CPU you've got, either a 32-bit or a 64-bit, then you can open your terminal. You can, uh, you can do the Control alt t command, that will open the terminal. And it's a very, very simple command. It's lscpu, all one word. And the first part you'll see here is architecture, and you'll be given a, um, a string here. Now, mine says x64 underscore 64. So that's 64 bit. Now you may see um, for example x64 or AMD64 they all mean a 64 bit architecture and if you have a 332 bit architecture it will say something like x86, i686 or i386. Now I'll leave those in the description below in case you're not sure but that's how you do that. Now, so I would choose that, I'd click on it, it would automatically download and then I'd install it depending on my system. So we've got that. Next is Vagrant, so get yourself up to vagrantup.com and click on the blue download button on the home page. Now again this will ask us for our system and CPU architecture, so I would then choose uh, the Linux 64 bit that will then automatically start the download and I would install that depending on my system. So now we have the VirtualBox and Vagrant installed, it's time to install Otto. So the Otto homepage is ottoproject.io and you can click on the download link in the top right hand corner. Now, this again, we'll need to choose our system and our CPU architecture. So I'm running Linux, and it's a 64-bit CPU architecture. Now, if I click on that, the download will start automatically. It's a very, very small file, um, zipped. When you click on that to open it, you'll see that there's just one file. It's the auto binary there. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to extract that, and I'm going to put it in my home directory. So I'm going to click Home and extract. There we go, extraction completed successfully, so we can close that and we can close that. Now the next part we'll need to, we'll just clear our terminal and if you run the auto command, now you may have an error like this, no such file or directory, or you may see a command not found, so that's what we need to fix next. So what we're going to do is we need to edit our uh, profile, our bash profile file, so it understands what the auto command is. So for that we need to run the sudo nano text editor, and it's the tile slash dot profile. 
And what we'll do is we'll just go to the bottom here and we'll just put a, com um, a hash in as a comment. So I'll just put command for auto, just in case you come back to this or someone else looks at it and they're not sure what it's for. So now what we need to do is we need to set the actual path. So we do export path equals and then the path variable comma and we're going to do the home variable because that's where we've put auto slash auto so that's where it can find the actual file there so I'm going to do control O and enter to save and then control X to jump out of it. Now the second part of the um, auto here is you'll see that it still doesn't recognize the command so we need to jump into the user slash bin directory and we're going to do a link here um, to the auto command so what we need to do is we need to do sudo ln minus s and then we're going to go home it's vagrant and auto and then we need to put the auto command so it understands what it's for now if you're not sure what the home directory is all you have to do is is write echo dollar home and that will tell you it's slash home slash vagrant. Okay, so now we've done that, we can type in auto and you'll see that the command works. Um, I'll just go back to the home directory so you can see it works um, system wide. Again, let's run auto, there we go. And you'll see that it's obviously got the usage here to explain how to use it. And then it's got a list of available commands with a brief. Um, description about what each one does. Well, I hope this has helped you install um, Otto and its dependencies. Thank you very much for watching.